Peace and love, family. Peace and love. It's your boy Chris and Lightning coming back again with some more spiritual vittles. And today I'm going in on how to invoke joy in your life. Ooh, this is a good one, family. This is a good one. How to invoke joy in your life. Ooh, this is a good one because after all the consultations I've given, the most common question that I'm always asked is, how do I invoke joy in my life? How do I love myself? And how do I find love? And I'm here to tell you, family, it's easier than we've been taught and told. We've been programmed to always look on the negative side of things. We've been conditioned to not look beyond the boundaries of our programming. We've been conditioned to accept poverty consciousness as truth. But I'm here to tell you, family, poverty consciousness is the shadow of wealth consciousness. It's a choice. Consciousness equals choice. It's up to you to be a pessimistic person or a positive person. What do you want to be? If you always find yourself looking on the negative side of things, your cup is hot halfway, always half empty, you're more than likely a pessimistic person. But you're not born pessimistic. That's something you've learned to do. One thing, that the biggest tip on how to invoke joy in your life is simply being joy, spreading joy. Buying people's food, smiling for people, opening doors for people, telling people you love them. You know, I know we got this COVID-19 thing going on right now, but if there's someone in your family that you love, hug them. Let them know why they live and how much you mean, they mean to you. Give them a call out the blue, tell you, I, I love you, I miss you. Things like that. When you do things like that, you create a bridge for joy to find you. In this illusionary earthly domain that we're living in, you have to be the conduit to whatever it is you want in your life. The, your, the universe always corresponds to whatever you give it. If you're given a lot of hate, you're going to get a lot of hate. Even if you're not given hate, if you're taking in hate, hateful images, hateful music, hateful thoughts, hateful literature, hateful movies, videos, and things like that, you're going to create the tapestry of your reality that, in, that has a foundation of hate in it. So if you want to invoke more, invoke more joy in your life, stop cursing so much. Stop drinking so much. Stop taking in negative images and movies. Stop being negative-minded. You know what I mean, family? I used to be like that. I was always against the man, protesting, you know, stuck in the past, anchoring my consciousness of unfavorable situations that happened to me in the past. And I realized, well, how am I winning? I'm not even winning. I'm winning at losing by doing this. One thing I'm imploring you guys to do, and you do you. This is I'm, this channel is about me sharing what worked for me. Hopefully it works for you. If you try it, I assure you it'll work. I've helped thousands of people around the world with these things. Start being that which you want in your life. Give it 30 days. If you're always on Facebook and your timeline is always negative, go through a Facebook fast. If every time your phone rings, someone's calling and complaining, dumping their dumpster juice in your consciousness, stop answering the phone. You don't have to. You're not getting paid for it. Stop worrying about things you can't control. The past is the past. It's time to move on. Focus on your future versus what's been done to other people and not yourself. No matter what it is that's happened to you in the past, you can't change it. It's good to anchor it, categorize it, learn from it and move on. Challenges help you evolve, family. If you fight for your limitations, you're going to get to keep them. It's just as simple as that. Use the law of mentalism to reconstruct your reality the way you want it. Start creating things. Start being that beacon of light that people need to see in their life. Be a mentor. You can mentor from afar. You know, one thing about this YouTube video is all these videos are here to inspire you. I'm already winning. I'm inspired. I got a fervor, vigor, impetus, I'm winning. But I want you guys to feel the same way. And it took me years to get this way. I'm 44 years old now. It took me a while to get here. I wish I had a Chris and Lighten telling me how to be when I was younger. But I didn't have a daddy. My uncles was too busy running, chasing women and getting that money. I didn't have nobody teaching me anything. So I'm here to share with you. So you can get motivated and start winning out here in these spiritual streets. You know what I mean, family? So I really want you to start thinking about how can you be a positive person out here in this reality. And I assure you, 
once you put it in your consciousness that you want and deserve more, ooh, you hear that? Spirit always dings when I'm on the right path. Once you get out here and realize that you deserve more, the universe will give you more. The universe always gives you what you feel as if you deserve. If you want a mansion, you want six cars in the parking lot, you gotta need that. You gotta want that. I need to be a millionaire. I need it. I feel it. I'm I'm not satisfied until I get it. You gotta have that. There's nothing wrong with needing money and wanting money. But on the other end, it's always good to help people too. There's nothing wrong with doing something for the betterment of mankind. Because when you do things for the betterment of mankind, the universe blesses you quicker. When you do things for self, it may take a little while. But what you have to do is create a bridge or find the medium between helping people and getting paid. Start monetizing your gifts. I assure you, when I get my YouTube checks each month, it feels good. Because I'm helping people and the universe is blessing me. It's great to create vessels to be blessed with. All the things I got going on, they're nothing more to help people, to bless people. You know what I mean, family? So I really want you to start thinking about your level of joy. What's your joy barometer? What's your joy scale? When you wake up, do you give thanks? If you're not giving thanks, you're probably not winning. I give thanks all the time. Sometimes I'm watching the movie and I just put it on pause and just give thanks to the creator. I give thanks to my higher self for making good decisions for me. I can thank to myself. Are you thanking yourself? Start thanking yourself. That's one ritual I want to give you guys. Give a self-thanks ritual. When you wake up, when you're brushing your teeth, give thanks that you're still here. You're still here. We come here to win. We don't come here to lose. We come here to win. If you're not motivated, get motivated. It's a choice. There's no like, oh, I got to do these nine things to get motivated. When you choose to get motivated, you get motivated. So what are you doing? Are you winning out here? What are you doing to win? Are you simply working a nine to five? And if you are, that's cool. But what are you doing outside of that to bring you joy? If you're not doing something every day that makes you feel good, start today. Find out what it is that makes you feel good. If you can't remember, think about what you were doing when you were a child that made you feel good. More than likely, you still love it to this day. I love talking to people. I love doing martial arts and stuff like that. I love music. All that type of stuff is what I bring me joy back then, and it still brings me joy now. Unbeknownst to most people, the consciousness of that 12-year-old kid is still with you. The consciousness of the elderly person that you're not even that you're not even are yet is still in you too. So find a medium between both of those and embrace and invoke as most much joy you can in your life, family. I really want you to win out there because when I'm traveling, when I'm going to spiritual seminars, when I'm in different states and people say, hey, Chris Enlighten, you helped me with this, you helped me with that. I got my ancestor altar up. They're giving me all these testimonies of how they're winning, how I've helped them change their mindset and change their life. That's worth more than money to me. It feels good. It really feels good, family. So I want you guys to get that same enjoyment that I'm getting by helping people. Start small. Start helping the people you know first. And I assure you, joy will find you. So on that note, family, it's your boy Chris Enlighten. If you want to support me, go out to Amazon.com. Pick up any one of my Amazon best-selling books, The Enlightened Talk, Poverty Consciousness, Wealth Consciousness, Dissolving Your Limitations. And in about 30 days, I'll be dropping my latest book, Consciousness Equals Choice. Ooh, it's a banger. It's a banger. So on that note, family... Peace and love. You already know what I'm doing. I'm out here winning.